Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. I think we played all the way back up from the misadventures last time where we kind of fooled around a little bit too long and the ship left without us. I made it here just in time and I think I have everything I need. So we got the ticket, we got the swimsuit, all of our cash, our passport from the trash can, the grotesque gulp which causes our life more than once, uh, the sunscreen, and then the mysterious unk unk. And I know I'm right on time because the second I step off this, because uh, I went over to the left to make sure I got my hair cut, and then about two steps over there, and it's like, oh, you waited too long, the, the ship left without you. But I think as long as I'm here, the ship can't go anywhere. So we're all good. So all that's left is to give this guy my ticket and uh, I guess my passport. Talk man. If you're going with us, you better get moving, says the man in the uniform. Are you going to show me your ticket or you just walk over here to just kibitz? Uh... Um, here we go. My Yiddish is really bad. To look on and offer unwelcome advice, especially at a card game. Oh, speak informally. Chat. That makes much more sense. Kibitz. Mm, I prefer kibitz. Uh, oh, bird dudes. Hi. You tell the purser. Here's my ticket and passport. All right. You just made it. Let's take a look at that passport first. Oh, nice photo, he says sarcastically. Now, let's see if your ticket is in order. Ah, oh, jeez. Another freebie. What are these suits in marketing? Gonna realize these boats don't sail on wind power anymore. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Regaining his composure, he continues. Your cabin will be on deck F, cabin number one. That's all the way below decks and to the rear. That will give you an excellent opportunity to hear all the subtle inflections of our diesels. You may enter now. Beautiful. We're on the boat. I'm on a boat, on a boat, got me hanging on a boat. Okay. Actually, we use the mouse for navigating up here. That seems much easier than going back and forth. Looks like you just made it. The ship is almost ready to leave. Oh, yay. Look, confetti. I've been on several boats in my lifetime. They never threw confetti down. Look. Confetti. Isn't it pretty? That should be a question mark. I'm going to start a new thing. Whenever I get on a boat, if we're going about to take off, I am throwing confetti. Do they still, like... Smash champagne bottles on the hole? I think I'd get in trouble for that. Oh, oh, his bald spot is glowing in the evening sun. As Los Angeles slips out of your view, your thoughts are on your search. Will you find love? Or will you keep looking in all the wrong places? Hey, we got our title. Now, who is that I'm dreaming of? Is that uh, Polyester Patty, uh, soon to be called Passionate Patty? Or is that the contest winner? Or is this just sort of my 1980s ideal? Uh, some of the instruments kind of dropped out there, but it's still a very sweet little song. Composed by Al Lowe. If I haven't mentioned it before, pretty sure I have. Okay, can we get on with it? Yes. There we go. We're on a boat. All right, let's see what I can do. I don't think there's any, any time limit where in the boat because this boat literally goes on... Until you make it stop. It's a month-long cruise. Let's go back and check out my room. There we go. Oh, it's a beautiful stateroom. Oh, I got a free basket of something. Look, basket. A bowl of fruit sitting on the nightstand with a note attached. You read the note. Bon voyage, Larry. Love, Mrs. Bimbo. Mrs. Mrs. Bimbo. Was she married? Was that the contest winner? Who's Mrs. Bimbo? Uh, Take fruit. Thank you. All right, well, let's explore everything. You know how these games are. Look, open. No, no, no. Let's just look. No one on the dating connection promise you the deluxe cabin. In fact, this is surely Unlux. Located at the rear of the ship's lowest deck, the noise from the engine compartment is deafening. You have a bed, a nightstand, and a small closet. There's a door on the aft wall. Okay, open closet. You quickly open the cramped little closet and look inside. You find absolutely nothing, so you return the doors to their closed position. All right, let's look everywhere. Look under bed. So clever, look under the bed, and I find nothing. Who's over here? Knock door. Let's be polite. You may have heard a soft come in, but you're not sure. All right, well, open door. Hello. Hey, how come your room is so much nicer? Can you hear the engines from your room, too? Well, 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 what have we here? Says the woman on the bed. Uh-oh, Larry, looks like you've been caught entering someone else's stateroom again. Why, I do believe it's that darling young man that my daughter won on TV. 
Good Lord, she's Bachelorette Barbara's mother. Poor little Barbie got to feeling poorly just as the cruise was about to start, so I decided to borrow her ticket and come along instead. Uh, your mind quickly envisions Paradise Lost. Even though that's a lot more violent than this story. Well, the guy was trying to shove saxophone reeds under my fingernails. I hope you don't mind. I convinced the purser that it was in his best interest to assign you to adjoining cabins. I'm sure I can make your voyage enjoyable. Is she patting the bed? Yeah, I think she is. I really want to get to know you if you get my drift. After I saw you win that lottery show, I thought you were just about the cutest thing I'd ever seen. Except for my mister, of course. May he rest in peace. He was a good man. A good catch, right? Right. An unusually... And usually quite sturdy, but one day his heart just couldn't take it anymore. You wonder why it's necessary to learn this. Honey, at any time you want to come over and see Mama, just feel free to pop on through that doorway, you hear? She attempts to give you a cute girlish smile. She fails. Um, well, awesome. I should probably be saving here. So if I be good to Mama, then will Mama be good to me? Can I loot your place, open door? No, no, Mother would be displeased. Look, Mama. Must we? Okay. Oh, wow, she did not look anywhere near as debonair as the voice I gave her made it sound. You find women sexy, but in this case, you make an exception. Let's just close this door. Do. Can I lock it? Ah, no key. All right, well, great. I'm pretty sure something happens later on. What happens if I sleep? No time! That's right, we have business to attend to. Ah, oh, the stairs, that's right. Oh, that's right, I have a mouse. Let's never do that again. Nope, can't pathfind. All right, over here, Larry. Oh, God, this place. Up we go, up we go. We can make it. as a workout. There we go, beautiful. What is on the TV? What is that? Is that like a close-up of somebody's satin sheets? Shouldn't you turn off this computer if you're going to watch TV? No, I'm just curious. I'm sorry. The ship's revolving nightclub has a television set behind the bar and only one empty stool. There's a complimentary bowl of spinach dip at the end of the bar. What? That's a weird thing to have, complimentary. But okay. Now, I wonder, is this part of the ship that I'm looking at through this rotating? Or is that just like a passing cloud? I wonder. And why would the ship rotate? There's like nothing... It's just water as far as the eye can see. Well, I guess when you make port, I guess it's cool. Well, whatever. Uh, take dip. You grab a loaf of the French bread filled with spinach, mayonnaise, and spices. I'm good. Delicioso. There's no one here interested in talking to you. Perhaps you could talk to the bartender. All right. Well, that's his way of saying, don't bother. Sit. Okay. Hi. You say to the bartender with a smile. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Thanks for telling me, he responds sarcastically. <laughs> that didn't work, Larry. Uh, by drink? Do you have any drinks with parasols and fruit? You ask the bartender. But of course, um, allow me to fix you the specialty of the house. Heavy on the pineapple, okay? No problem. Somehow I would have guessed that. No, oh, no, oh, very slowly. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Here's to you, you say to no one in particular. Whoa. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Ah, I got you, you vicious devil enemy of the people, cries the bartender, suddenly revealing himself as a member of the KGB. How's that for extra pineapple, you sap? Oh, didn't see that one coming. The bartender's Mickey has desired effect upon your central nervous system. You give the KGB no problems during transit to their local headquarters. We'll drop by there just to see how you're getting along. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this before. I can't believe you have to walk up every single one of these stairs individually. Who thought this was a good idea? All right, well, let's skip the bartender. Let's get dip. There we go. Beautiful. Let's see what else this ship has to offer us. Oh, man. Over here. Oh, we have access to the lifeboats. Hmm. This is very Chekhovian. Look. The upper deck of the ship stretches away in all directions. There's a lifeboat hanging in here. Well, we'll remember that for later. For now, we don't need it. Okay, let's head on downstairs. Look at the clouds go by. This thing is going like a thousand miles an hour. This is going to take off. How do I go downstairs? How do I... I can't. I can't. How do I... Huh? Mouse, help me. 
All right, what's on the back of the ship? There's not that many activities on this boat, I'm noticing. This is going to be a really boring month. Hey, there we go. We're at the pool. And a really strategically placed railing. Doesn't that pool look refreshing? There is one empty chaise lounge by the pool. All right, well, I know better than to either hop in the pool or try to sunbathe while wearing a, you know, a heavy polyester leisure suit, but that's never stopped me before for sacrificing myself in the name of entertainment. All right, it's not actually going to let me sunbathe in my leisure suit. Uh, maybe I can swim. Dive. I try repeatedly to dive into the concrete pool deck with no success. All right, well, whatever. Bloosh. Swim. Oh, I can't. I can't swim, apparently. Oh, no. Next time, you might try swimming in something other than a thick polyester white leisure suit. Oh, down he goes. All right, so we'll just come back here after we have our swimsuit on. But I don't think you could do anything else on the ship while you're wearing your bathing suit. It's uh, not a clothing optional ship, I'm afraid. All right, let's check the fore deck. Hey! There's that... Lovely music. Oh, I upgraded to a kumquat while I wasn't looking. Good day, mister. How may I help you? Oh, wait, no, I said this guy's gonna be Scottish, didn't I? All right, a, Scotman, a Scotsman he will be. Let's get ourselves another haircut for whatever reason. Is there anything you can do about this hairline of mine? You asked the barber. Aye, but of course, mister. I've got exactly what you need. Uh, just have a seat in the chair, please. I decided to bypass Scottish and just go straight for uh, Irish. Uh, what are you doing that mop top, sir? Sir? Yes, I have exactly what you need. It's all the rage, the latest thing. You see it everywhere these days. In fact, guys make a lot of money with one of these. I call it the Jimmy model. I'm sure it'll suit you just fine. He places the Jimmy all carefully on top of your head. Get it all styled. Come on there. Beautiful. Impeccable fit. And for you, the price is right. Only $10,000. But I like to consider it more of an investment than an expense. 10 k for a wig? Yeah, what the hell. It's not like it's your money. Why not let those suckers who paid for all those lucko bucko tickets treat you to a new look? I'll take it, you tell them, and peel off $100 bills from your rapidly depleting wad of receding to something completely different on my head. Can I get to see what I look like? No mirror? No nothing? I can't walk out. The barber bids you a farewell with a sweet, Sure you can! You catch a good look at yourself in the mirror and slip the wig into your inner jacket pocket. You thank the barber, but thanks a lot. I think I'll just save this until the day my cable channel application is approved. Bunk. There we go. We'll need that later. All right, let's go see what's happening on the bridge. Um, I'm just loud up here, am I? Oh, are you, uh, are you Kenny? Hold it right there, buddy, says the captain. No one's allowed on my bridge without permission. Oh, the security guards take you away to the brig, which is located on deck even lower than your cabin. The conditions there aren't that bad, although seepage does keep the floor covered with oily, slimy water. Unfortunately, during one particularly wet dream, you slide off your bunk and drown in bilge water. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. All right, here I am back on the, I, what I assume is called the, the bridge. All right, as long as... Oh, hi! Oh, look at- oh, Jesus! Crimey Christmas! Look out, Jerry's- Jerry, he's firing a poison dart! Oh, he got the- oh! Oh, at least he missed you! However, the captain lies dying on the deck. The ship is drifting helplessly on the high seas. What? Through your ineptitude, you've allowed your captain to be killed by a KGB poison dart. Unbeknown to the passengers and crew, it's shut the- Unbeknown to the passengers and the crew, the ship now charts its own course. A course, a course, that course is straight for the nearest reef. Uh, perhaps you'll miss the reef and miss the grief. Save the ship and save the day. Perhaps you'll even earn your escape someday. Can I do anything? I still can't move. Nope, no, no way. You knew better than that. All right. I don't think you can write that off to my ineptitude. I just tried to walk across the room. Uh, whatever. Well, let's not move anywhere outside this little square here. Now, you have a distinct feeling that you should not be messing around on the bridge of a large ocean-going vessel. So far, the captain has not noticed you. You better keep it that way. Let's see. Look, captain. Maybe this is our Kenny um, cameo. He's intently steering the ship. Do not disturb him. All right. Let's not. Uh, what's this switch here? Look. Switch. There's a large toggle switch labeled lifeboat timer on the console directly behind the captain. Okay. Well, remember that exists. Well, now not too much else to do but to go swimming. Uh, I can't get down. There we go. Yeah, the arrow keys don't help at all. Can I use the diagonal keys? Yo, the diagonal keys work great. Oh, why wasn't I doing this before? I am a jerk. 
No, I'm a schmuck. Change into swim or just into suit, I guess. Move behind the clock. I'm in my own room. I don't need to be. All right, whatever. Straight into the suit. All right, this is a good place. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm beautiful. Do I get a towel or anything? I don't look that badly. I'm not really that out of shape. Really, I expected I would be pudgier. All right, well, up to the pool we go. Oh, the pool's in back. I'm a dope. No, wait, I'm a schmuck. Let's, uh, let's go for a swim first, and then we'll do some sunbathing. And I know if you, because you, you have to apply the sunscreen, otherwise, well, let me show you. There we go. A lovely day to catch a couple of rays. And I believe I just immediately burst into flames. Yeah, there he goes. These tropical UVs can be deadly. But hey, at least I ranked up to a Nimrod before I died. All right, so let's dive in. Woo! Oh, oh, swim, swim. All right, here's the tricky part. Dive. Okay. Whoop. All right, and there's a thing down there we need, but I'm not quite ready yet. So I'm going to go back up for air because you... Oops. What do you mean, oops? Did I just... Did I just put pee in the pool? Is that what that was insinuating? All right, now you got to be fast here. So we'll get... I think that's a bikini, not give. All right, and then up we go. Oh, how long do you think you hold your breath? Long enough, I hope. There we go. I remember that being really tough because if you don't crank up the speed, then the game's timer keeps on going as usual. So by the time you get down there, you're already out of breath and then you die. All right, that being up, and that was refreshing, and I have now ranked up to putts. All right, so let's now uh, put on sunscreen. There we go, got points for that, and now we can lie down and get ourselves a nice base tan. A nice low-life base tan. Oh, oh, something happens. What's this? Why, hello there, big fella, the beautiful blonde with a body like a brick shipyard. Why are you hanging around here? I've been looking for someone just like you for a long time. Why don't you come back to my place? You won't have to hang around here all alone ever again. Jeez, Larry, you really found yourself a live one. I'll just say yes for now, even though I think the body like a brick shipyard was probably a clue that she is KGB. But we're going to say yes anyway. Uh, come on, I can't wait to get you all alone. Get up. All right, let's go. Following you. Hey, baby, you cry. Wait for me. You allow yourself to be seduced by the beautiful women and quickly become close friends. She heads for the ship's fantail where she parks her private helicopter. A short romantic chopper ride across the South Pacific is followed by an intriguing look by her impressive garage door, hidden suspiciously by a mountain waterfall. Later that night... Oh, it's not just... She's not KGB. You are so impressed. You've never had a girl fight you to her pad before, not mention her landing pad. Go. Hey, when did I put on my leisure suit again? When did I have time? All right, well... Just wait over there on the bed while I slip something. While I slip something? Like slip into something more comfortable? Is that what she meant? Just while I slip something. Oh, okay. Perhaps if things go well tonight, I could give her a subscription to Popular Mechanics. What, is this all, what does this all mean? I have no control, so into the bed he gets. I don't like this. Hey, baby, you say. What a great kinky bed. I don't like this at all. Yeah, there we go. There are the clamps. Hey, what's going on here? Get these ankle cuffs off me. And why the handcuffs? Oh, I'm just into mechanical devices, she replies with a smile. Hold still, darling. This will only take a second. Okay. And this is not... Ooh. Uh-oh. Why does that look like hydrofluoric acid below me? Because it is, silly. Um, this seems really elaborate if you're just trying to kill me. Oh, and a laser. And a laser. Perfect. Like, oh, God. Well, Larry, this brings a whole new meaning to the term dismemberment. Oh, God. Block. I had the onk lunk on me. Or they just want me dead. Look, lady, if you want my onk lunk. Come on, Samson. Can't wait to get you all alone. Bye. If you want my Unk Lunk, I had it on me. You could just have it. Just take it off me. You don't need to go through the, the elaborate process of hanging me up on a vertical bed and then slicing me in half with a laser and dumping my remains into a pool of hydrochloric acid. Just ask. Just ask. I'm so easy. I'm just a lowly low life. All right. So we're hopefully we'll not follow her. Good. Okay. We're safe for the time being. 
But I think we've pretty much done everything on the ship that we need to do. I don't know what time it is, but I guess we'll just head back to our room and get changed. That took forever. All right. Beautiful. Night has fallen on the good ship USS Love Tub, so you head to your bed for a few hours of relaxing sleep. Well, this is great. Even though it purely looks like daytime out there. Unbeknownst to our little boy Blue, the door to the adjoining cabin swings open. Suddenly a deep rumbling shakes your cabin, not the steady roar of the ship engines to which you've grown accustomed. This sounds more like an onrushing steam locomotive encountering a steep gradient while the fireman pours on the coal. Oh no, it's Mama! Oh no. Oops, says the big mother. I didn't mean to hurt you, little fella. Oh dear, oh dear. Shoot, and you such a cutin' too. Oh, now it becomes clear to you, you must escape this vessel before darkness falls. You're continued to be the main course at Mama Party. At a Mama Party. Pardon me, but now I'm dead. Okay, that probably means none of my save games are going to work. So I can't actually go back to my room when it's too late. So let's do the pool first. Let's get that out of the way. And then I uh, will regroup, hopefully, back in my room at daytime. And of course, the first thing I do is go in absolutely the wrong direction. Let's change first. Okay, I think I've done everything I need to do while I'm here. So I got the bikini top, the wig, the spinach dip, and the fruit. But I, I think I'm missing something. I think I'm missing something. Because the next step is to lower the lifeboats and you can escape this boat so you don't die at night when uh, Mama comes to jump on your bones. There's one more thing I need. I, I remember there's like a sewing kit or something that you need. Aha, there we go. So we came back to the room and Mama's not here. So now we can ransack her room. Open closet. All right, well, oh Lordy. Oh my. She really had a chance to sit around and make herself at home, didn't she? With all these hooks pre-installed? You see of lots of unusual garments, many made of leather with fur linings. Mother must be a policewoman. Uh, she also has handcuffs, whips, chains, and other paraphernalia that would you would assume would only be useful in the field of law enforcement. Uh, let's just close door there. That's no problem. But I think uh, open drawer. Okay, look in drawer. Fine. Can't you just assume? You see lots of unmentionables, which will remain unmentioned. Plus mother's sewing kit. Take. Kit. That's what we need. Close drawer. See, this game wasn't meant to be played in one sort of uh, logical run through, I guess, for lack of a better term. It was meant to be played like you'll go up to a certain point and you'll die. Then you restore and go back and then you realize you messed something else back again. Then you get up and then you die. It's it's a real it's a cycle of death, really, is this what this game is all about. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like a lot of these trial and error games, I kind of... In, I. Part of me likes it, but a lot of me likes to put myself into the character's shoes. Or in this case, I guess loafers, whatever he's wearing, which are a type of shoe. I guess let's not be pedantic. But uh, it really kind of takes me out of the experience because I die over and over and over again. So you have to look at it sort of more of a third person thing. Take yourself out of it. Don't role play. And because you could role play in Quest for Glory and uh, even King's Quest, I guess, to an amount. But Leisure Suit Larry, not so much. Mostly because he's very unrelatable. Let's see if now we can do everything we need. If we pull this lever, that should lower the lifeboats and we can make our daring escape. And you'll see why I needed all this stuff. Uh, pull lever. Silently, cautiously, so not to attract the captain's attention, you move the large toggle switch to the start position. A faint ticking sound begins. All right, which means another, yet another, race against the clock to get to the lifeboats before it goes down. I think it's this one over here on the left. The Chekhovian one we saw. Oop, oop. Come on, behave. There we go. <gasps> Look, the ship has come to a standstill in the water. They must be preparing for a lifeboat drill. You better not leave this area, which is its nice way of saying if you leave this area, you're doomed. Jump in boat. Okay. The lifeboat drill has brought the ship to a standstill. What have you done, Larry? A siren wails a warning cry. The lifeboat begins to shake. You make it to the lifeboat in the nick of time. Yes, and I am a creep doing so. 
Beautiful. And off we go. Oh, I, that separated all on its own. How come all the other ones didn't separate? That doesn't seem quite fair. Slowly, you drift away from the cruise ship. You wonder what you forgot to pack. Hmm. This is where I start getting really nervous. Because if you don't have everything you need, you're doomed. You are dead already. And you didn't even know it. So as the cruise ship slinks further and further into the distance and I'm sailing off to parts unknown this seems like a good part to leave Larry alone don't forget to go and put all of your ideas for more trite phrases into the Google Doc which you will see down in the doobly doo and I will see you next time so until then good night jelly beans good night <laughs>